G'day guys, X-Ray Racer 1 here and this is update number, hmm, I think we're up to update number 15 now of Project N-Scale and some, I haven't done a lot but some stuff has been getting done uh, I've been doing a bit of uh, modeling here and there um, but one of the big things that have, has happened, uh, well, I wouldn't call it a big thing, but uh, what has happened is, as I mentioned in the previous video, I would be uh, doing, uh, trying to cover up the back of the mountains. Now, if uh, the last video that I've uploaded would be the part of the review of this locomotive here, and you would have seen uh, the backdrop. So. Um, to officially announce it, I guess you could say, this is what I've been, what I've done. All it is really is just uh, some black um, material. Now, some of you might say, well, why didn't you just, uh, instead of building the mountain the way you have, instead of doing that, make up like a, I guess you call it like a fascia or what do they call it, and then sculpt the mountain around that and it would look neat. And well, yeah, I could have done that, yes. However, as some of you noticed, especially uh, with this locomotive here, I had a bit, I have, uh, part of my curse, I guess you could say, is I get um, derailment issues. And I've had derailment issues in the past with this uh, military train you see coming along. Now, the issue, what ha would happen is it will come along here and the uh, flat car with the tanks on the back, no, sorry, the one with the little military trucks on the back, sorry, would derail. And so, then what would happen is it would derail, disconnect, and it would be stuck in here. So, the reason why I have done this way with just some black material is if I have to, I can just lift it up and access it, like so. And it was quite easy to put together. All I did is, um, I'll zoom out a little bit, sorry about that guys. All I did is I just used some track pins and just pinned it in through the plaster. And that's all it is guys, simple as that. So it doesn't have to be neat and tidy. After all, if someone starts criticizing you about your layout, just remember it's you that built your layout. So that's the attitude I've gone with. I could have possibly had it a little bit longer here to cover this section up, but it doesn't really matter. So that's that bit there. And I've done the same around the back here. So what I've done, same principle, some uh, material and held in with track pins. And so, as, as you know, those that have been following my channel for quite a while, is I have locomotives underneath. So you're probably wondering, well, how do you how do you juggle it? So what do I do? What I do is I got a pin that I just pin into the plaster like that, and that holds it up and allows me to get access to my locomotives. And the good thing is, you can't tell where the pinhole is. You probably can on the camera, but <laughs> you can't see the pinhole. So that's that's probably the main thing that I've done so far. Uh, the other thing I've done uh, is along here. Now, um, I was looking at this probably a couple of days ago, and I was looking at it, I thought it was just looking a bit uh, bare, I guess you could call it. So, and all it was was this green, uh, green turf, and that. So what I did is I got some more turf 
and I also got some uh, ballast, some of the mix that I made up, put it around the edges, around there, the tunnel entrances, uh, and then I put a little bit more turf down, and I got some more shrubs and um, coarse, uh, oh, yeah, I think it's coarse, hang on, here it is, yeah, coarse turf, <laughs> that's what I used, burnt grass, so it's that stuff there, so that's, yeah, what some of that is around there, and as you can see, it kind of makes it pop a little bit. I did the same tier two, uh, did a bit around here, put a bit around there, put some of that dirt around here. Uh, as you can see, I've got some homeless guys in tents, and that. Let me just. So yeah, that's uh, one of the things I have been doing. Now the next thing I have been doing is we'll come around here. Um, now, this is uh, recent, uh, I looked over it in the last video and I thought, oh damn, I didn't mention what I've been doing over here. You saw it, but I didn't talk about it. And a few other things have changed uh, since then. So as you know, uh, I've got a house here that's been under construction, um, got some cars, some workers and cement mixers, things like that. And this, look, uh, this is this is a little house I got off eBay. It was a kit. It's like a uh, what do you call it? A laser cut kit. Now uh, I am not happy with it. It's actually quite a bad kit. I actually didn't finish building it. <laughs> Uh, you can see there's like I uh, got one window pane in there, but as you can see, I didn't finish building it. I am as you can see, it's absolutely terrible, which is a shame really because um, this kit was made. I got because I got it off eBay, and it's made by the same guy who does this one. And as you can see, I mean, obviously, it's meant to be a house under construction, but look at it. It's absolutely fantastic, you know, it looks like, you know, the real thing, and yet you pan over here, you know, you can see all the the gaps in there, and, well, I mean, look at that, that's absolutely atrocious, and, yeah, I was really disappointed with it, and uh, the, the guy that makes those kits also does this fencing here, too, so I was really disappointed with it, so I'll probably end up leaving it there for the time being until I get another house and speaking of other houses what I do have here is I have this house is I, which I built uh, it's actually a Walters kit and um, I'm quite happy with that I like the Walters kit it uh, went together quite nicely probably took me the best part of an hour to glue it together I didn't paint it or anything but yeah it went together real nice um, I probably haven't shown in uh, the last video or the video before uh, but I have uh, fencing for the bogan slash redneck house uh, as you can see that's how it's supposed to look it's supposed to look like a like well like a rundown fence and um, and I've left it wonky and that like stuck it in and left it wonky because let's face it you see houses like this where there's hardly any grass there's dead cars out the front yard and that you know the fence is going to look terrible so i've left it wonky looking for that authentic look um as you can see there's no fencing around the back yet i do have another model train stuff order coming um so yeah and i've got a few other things i've got few little things coming for this little scene here um yeah you know i'm not too sure i, I know i've got i've now bought some paint and some decals and uh, things like that uh so yeah so it haven't done a lot um it's uh it's slowly getting there um my next focus will be on this thing with the radio control cars that'll be my next focus um but yeah it's uh it's getting there guys i'm uh definitely enjoying getting back in the model trains and um 
Yeah, it's very, I find it very relaxing, unless you derail in a tunnel. <laughs> so yeah, that's the end of this video, guys. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment down below. And I will see you later in the next video.